sun when it's completely sun down. Complete sun down. All right, because because during Bible times they didn't have no clocks. They didn't have. They looked at the sky and was able to see. All right, the sun is down. Good. When the sun is up, they was able to read the time. So when you said the ninth hour, the twelfth hour, they was able to read the sun and be able to tell you what time it was. All right. So give me Exodus chapter twenty. Verse eight. eight. What's your name, brother? Burnett. Burnett? Yes, sir. Give me Burnett. Okay, I'll pray. So let, let me, I want to bring something out to you. So give me First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. You out of here, Theron? Right back. I'm going to run right here. All right. So, First Corinthians. So you know you Israelite already, all praises, man. So how long you been knowing? Um, I won't give it about good three years. Good three years? And you congregate with people already? Um, on 79th. On 79th? Okay, all praise. Well, let me let me bring out something to you. Maybe you didn't know. And you said your name is what again? Jimmy Burnett. Jimmy Burnett. All right, let's go. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Here we go. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So it says the head of every man is Christ free and the head of the woman is the man free and the head of Christ is God so is God Christ man woman that's the order right free every man praying or prophesying having his head covered dishonoreth his head so it says every man praying or prophesying having his head covered dishonor all praises so and give them a round of applause. You already. So, so every man praying or prophesying, he has to have his head uncovered. Right. That's because you dishonor who? God and Christ. Right, because Christ is our direct head. So give me a, let me show you in the Bible though, how we know that that is, that what prophecy is. Because it says, praying or prophesying. So let's see what prophesy is. That's Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. Yeah. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So we this whole Bible, because we know that Christ comes in the volume of a book. It says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So every time that we speak, you read the Bible, every time we pray, every time that we are discussing the, God's word, that is the spirit of prophecy. Right. We help bring forth the spirit of uh, the spirit of God's will by doing these things. Give me Amos chapter uh, 3 verse 2. So you got any questions? No question. He's going to check me out. I'll pray. So... So you got your friends on all praises. Uh, you familiar with keeping the Sabbath day? You had to work today? Well, not today. Today is not... What? No, no, no. So when does the day start? So who do you study with, sir? What's the name of the... You only want a few times? Okay. So you don't, okay, so you don't want to say the name? It's okay. All right, so like I was saying, um, we're going to show you when does it start? When does the day start, right? So give me that. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 5. Bring it up. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. So the evening and the morning were the first day. So, evening begins a day. You got All right, so evening begins a day. Right? right? right. So, no, Esau got to turn away or turn around. It's the morning. We get up and we think morning begins the day, but actually the evening begins the day. All right? So, uh, so let's, let's get to Exodus. Sun when it's completely sundown. Right. Complete sundown. Okay. All right, because because during Bible times they didn't have no clocks. 
And they had, they looked at the sky and was able to see, all right, the sun is down. Good. Or the sun is up. They was able to read the time. So when you said the ninth hour, the twelfth hour, they was able to read the sun and be able to tell you what time it was. Good. All right, so give me Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. All right, so... This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. So we already established that uh, evening begins the day, right? All right. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So it says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Read. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Right, so six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. All right, so six days thou shalt do all thy work, right? So when is the first day of the week? Sunday, right? Sunday is the first day of the week. So when is the last day of the week? Friday. So if we let's count it, let's let's, let's count it. So if it's Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is the seventh day. Right. right. So Saturday is the seventh day. So if Saturday is the seventh day, when does the Sabbath begin? Off what we already discussed as far. All right, read that again. Read Genesis chapter 1, verse 4. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 5. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Right, so it says evening begins the day, as we already discussed. So it says, I said it begins Saturday. Saturday is the seventh day. So when does the Sabbath begin? Friday night begins the the Saturday. Friday night. So from Friday so from Friday night to Saturday night is the Saturday. You got it? So that's when it begins. Alright, so that is the Sabbath. So you haven't broken. Tonight, once the sun goes all the way down today, that is going to be the beginning of the Sabbath day. Alright? So you didn't know that. Okay, all praise. So you learned you learned something. So that was the so that is how it's, it started. We we keep God's laws according to as it is written. That's why we got the beginning begins on the night and also that the seventh day of the week, which is Saturday, but we started Friday night. So, so the first day of the week actually begins Saturday night. Right. So Saturday night to Sunday night is day one. Right. Right. Right, right. So that's how we start all of our days at the night. So it don't, like I said, the way that the calendar and the way that we look at things now is uh, is contrary to what the Bible says. What's that? Give me a, a change laws and times with the Daniel. Okay. The book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 25. Bring it on. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. So this is talking about the so-called white man. He says, and he shall speak great words against the Most High. So he's going to turn this world upside down. The things that we, the, how we was able to keep our laws, he made it hard for us to do that thing because he turned everything upside down. Read. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And he wore us out in slavery. Right. He wore us out by not us being able to read our amount of time. Right. That's how we got wore out. We got right. wore out by all these conditions that we live in. Right. Think to change times and laws. And he says, and think to change times, times and laws. Did he not change the time? Because we keep all of his days are contrary to what the Bible says. Right. Because so everybody go to church on Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. That's the change in times of law because the law is for us to congregate on the Sabbath day. Right. That's, right. That's the law. Right. And he also changed the time. He said, look, I'm going to say that the morning is the beginning, but it's actually the evening. Right. So these are the laws in which he tried to change. You got that? Yes, sir. Okay. Right. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. So we're going to be in, that means we're going to be in captivity for a long time. Because we didn't want to listen to 
what God has to say. But we got to come back to these laws and we have to study this Bible so that because we're going to be judged of, of this Bible, right? The things that we do and that we don't do. So we have, it's up to us to be able to find the truth for us to be able to get out of these conditions. And the most important thing that you would do is find the proper teacher. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth